All right, everyone, welcome back. And I know it's been a bit of a while since we last played Starfield here on the channel, but we're back and we're going to try to finish the main story. I don't know if we'll finish it here in this session, but we'll see. So let's jump right into it. I believe we are now heading to Keeper Achilles to speak with them. In between now and maybe two months ago, uh, I did do a bit of side quests here and there because uh, I went on a little bit of vacation to Florida and I took my Steam Deck with me so I played a bunch of side quests on my break and so I might have some weapons that you didn't see me have in the previous session so just keep that in mind. Oh, well what's on both your minds? Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Something on your mind? All right. No, there's nothing on my mind right now. Oh, wow. Sit there. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? Start with the discovery of these anomalies, the artifacts. They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought. We enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. You know it's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer. I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. Let's hear the story then. There must be more to it. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum. His addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Infin <laughs> infinitum addendum? That's not saying very specific. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Fine, I'll talk to, to them. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Varun worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. 
I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Okay, let me wait here for like an hour real quick. Get some health back. Okay, I didn't get any health back. Oh, okay, well, I'm saving. But that still works. Maybe I have to sleep in a bed. To do that. All right. Uh, where are we heading to? Okay, gotta move out the way. Thank you. Do we have to? Let me see something real quick. Missions. Talk to the Virun prisoner. Talk to the House of Enlightenment. Okay, so it's already okay. Never mind. I have to do that. It's on a planet. I thought we had to go to a different planet. Feels like this game runs a bit smoother than I last played on this PC. I know there was a lot of patches since I last played, so maybe that. Uh, they fixed some performance issues that I was dealing with. It wasn't major performance issues, like very, very nitpicky, but uh, yeah. Is it a spaceport? Hold on. It's over here. I believe we've been here before. A while ago. It's, it's been a while. <laughs> Andy Singh. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Keeper Killer sent me. I need to talk to you about the program. We understand that you are busy, but this might be important anything you could tell us would be helpful listen i've talked about this with him a ton of times and there's no record of a unity pilgrim but since you both insist our early records are mostly administrative humanitarian projects group counseling notes charity expenditures but there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail it's the closest thing i have to what aquilus is describing let's hear it a man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Maybe there's a message hidden in what he was saying. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. All right, now we have to speak with the Vavarun prisoner. Or is it Vavarun prisoner? Case food. I think it's Vavarun. Spaceport. By the way, Captain, 
Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. We could just walk in here like it's nothing. And on the mission to talk to Sergeant Yumi. A visitor? I have all the company I need. No, you've talked to Keeper Killers about the Veyrune Faith. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. Few are willing to accept the truth. What is she doing back there? <laughs> the Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Keeper Achilles spoke of a pilgrim. I need to know more about him. If the Keeper has been to see you, perhaps he has mentioned it? Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I keep looking at her armor that she's wearing. Kind of reminds me of like the cog armor from Gaze of War. It's pretty then cool. We are done. Leave me. All right. Oh, I see what's happening. Emma Wolk. Wait, why? I think she's a part of a quest that we were doing. The sooner we get to Montero Luna, the better. What was the mission again? A farmer asked us for help. She says that someone's trying to take her land. Okay. We're going to pay her a visit and find out exactly what's going on. Okay. Well, we got to do that too. I think I did this while everything good in what the middle of a uh, side doing some side quests. All right. Where are we heading to now? Turn to Keeper Achilles. Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? The enlightened story used the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? The enlightened stories you oh, already said that. Uh, I spoke with the Veyrune Zealot. 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 She said Jinan. Fought two, four times over 122 days, or oh, 20 days, sorry. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. 
Was there anything else? In your story, the pilgrim contemplates infinitum addendum. That must mean something. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. It's infinitum. What if oh, we break the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Indum, that's the name of the star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Um, there's something sacred out there bringing everything together. I think that's the one I'll pick out of the three. Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? Um... No, that's just a natural force. Unity is something greater. It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So, you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Could it be that somehow natural forces like gravity are, what, a side effect or a function of something greater at work? Interesting. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go. Find your truth. All right, let's head back to the ship and get a move on. Open scanner F and then press R to start an out. Uh, why? Why? I don't need to do that right now. Plus, we have to. I don't remember if we do or not. There was at one point a mission that we needed to do a uh, create an outpost. What a sniper are we? This one was a shotgun. Oh, I forgot I had this. Search for clues on a unity. What does that sound? Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a toad face grazer? I don't want to hurt you. I'm just scanning you. It's pretty cool. Oh, God. I don't want to. Okay. You, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. Kill them in like two shots. That's really cool. Like a frog mixed with like it's like a rhino. It's an interesting combination. Alright, let's go. Extra clues on unity. To be here? Yeah. 
Okay, this looks like an outpost of some sort. Someone made a concerted effort Oops. to survive here. Yeah. Yet it would seem it did not work out. It's abandoned. I'm for salute. Reddits. Poncho. Oh, hold on. Pilgrim's writing. Credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them. But I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the, bi the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself, after all. I hope for their sake that they may someday understand. But for my sake, I wish to be left alone. Alright, take that med pack. Access the locked room. Alright, probably gotta hack it. There's another clue here. Oh, this is too much reading. If you guys wanna read it, you can pause the video and then uh, read it yourselves. I wanna flip to the next page. Then, uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I've seen that before. Game seeking the right answers, you know what question to ask. What is unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? Fuck, I just read that too. See, we all seem to end up just finding each other. That one? That is an answer, but it's not my answer. Find my writings, read them closely. God damn it. All right. Well, let's just do the people are necessary. People are madness. Who is your most formidable opponent? Myself. Where does enduring contentment come from? Growing, becoming better, stronger. And stopping. Oh, I got it. Okay. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer in a long time, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. You see the temperature readings, yes? We must make an effort to stay warm. From final reading, final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. Okay. Again, I'll let you all read the rest if you'd like. Uh, how's that? Ear grub. That thing fits in the ear? Oh. Yeah, I know. Did you pick? I'll take that for sure. Gladly. Distrag. Did you pick? Did you pick? Alright. Um, I think we are good here. Another bathroom. Do we have everything? We do very much so. Oh. Epic pistol. I might keep it or sell it. Just gonna head back to the ship and just be on our way.
this was sick too. Brain injury. Oh, fuck. I gotta heal that somehow. Actually, oh, wait, so are we just supposed to just, supposed to just board? Okay, maybe not. Oh, we're supposed to go to... Uh, Isla, okay. Uh, we haven't explored it yet, so we could go here and jump there. Go there. Singing the Valentine must be him. Always happy to meet a stranger. Hope my singing must be liking. I've heard of this guy before. I've, I've, I've watched some guy on uh, TikTok. He, he was singing like a shanty. Is this a guy that he was referencing? That's cool. All right, going to the ancient ruins. any organic materials now would be the time it's always so dark in the last two planets this one and the previous one uh, what the hell is that oh that looks like a giant prey mantis we don't want any trouble bro look prey mantis is if there were giant prey mantises they would Clearly some probably wreck havoc on the world to be honest they are like menaces Seem like prey mantis is like kill, oh, kill like uh, birds and mice and lizards. Don't 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 try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. What the fuck is that? Oh, this one looks good too. What are you doing? Wait, what? I need y'all to move out the way. Oh, maybe I have to. No, nope, that's not right.
We have to get to that spot. What the hell? Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe we have to get it from... Oh, there we get it. You got it. Go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation. Okay. That's all we have to do? Alright. So you can fly away from. Is is that how the saying goes? Are we not supposed to leave or? Wait, what the hell? Okay. Go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation. Oh, okay, it's further away. I was about to say, I was like, yo. Going to Oborum Prime. Deeper killer sent me to find the true meaning of unity. Trust these guys, but hey. so we leveled up too, which is great. Almost level thirty. No, don't shoot them. Why can't I not? There we go. Oh, this is dope. This is so cool. Of course, we gotta come by ourselves, though, without our companions. Oh, this is rad. Perhaps, and their ship, the Helix. 
I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long oh, way since snap. the world of constellation speech, haven't you? What? What? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who ran to the eye. I left you behind to protect the artifacts, and the hunter killed you. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. What the hell? Okay. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what? No matter who or what I was, when eternity is within your grasp. What? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. 
Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Wow. So I help one of you, we combine our artifacts, enter the unity. I don't want to help someone that murdered my friend. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's. Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Are you serious? Oh, the Hunter's a dick. His armor's cool, though. Our armor's cool, too. You might think the emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Um. Who was I in your universe? What was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. Happen when you enter the Unity. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion. Or is it testing us? Okay. So you try to protect the artifacts, keep them from being abused. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. What exactly is the... Armillary. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Okay. Talk to both of them. The Emissary and their kind only want to control you. What is the unity to you? Why not? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. If you attack the Lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go, 
Sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. What about the emissary hypocrite? Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the Unity itself doesn't judge. You had this meeting because of me? <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. <laughs> Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Alright, well, this has all been interesting, but I want to leave. Goodbye. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. Oh. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. Huh. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Okay, so... I guess we're heading to the moon. Sir, is giving me a key to a base on Luna, Earth's moon. Say I'll learn more about the artifacts if I investigate. Let's go there first. Oh wow, I just that's the moon. I mean that's Earth. Oh I gotta undock. I said not. Oh, that's why. Star Yard, but we don't need to go there, we need to go to here, Luna. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot I leveled up, so I gotta adjust my stuff. So we are on the moon. Earth's moon, that is. This is cool. Before I even go any further, I want to level up. Oh, up, not there. Level up. Nope, not that either. I said level up. Alright, so I guess I want to level up. Do guns again, but let's see. I do want to get. I want to actually use my jetpack. Oh wait, no, that's not it. I mean, I, I used it already, but it's not one that just like has you floating for long. Uh, let's see, what left of all my strength. Or my health, actually. Yeah, it's probably good. I need more health. What's the uh, next one? Complete the previous rank. Challenge to unlock this rank. Heal to... Oh, that's it? Okay. That's easy. Alright, let's get a move on, folks. I know that random companion is still coming with us, but... Oh, this is cool. I forgot, like, different gravity makes you jump really high. Who's landing on the moon? Ah, this is so freaking gorgeous. That's Earth. Impressive that such an old structure would be in this shape after over a hundred years. What's inside? Hello. Oh, no one's here. Obviously. Volatair. Want to remind the research team that Volatair is a highly proprietary, proprietary super computer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It's not meant. To for your own personal projects. Yes, it's assuming to see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be a be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. That should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Okay. All right, this is play the recording on the roof. I'm happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at nine o'clock EDT. Reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on radio for launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. Okay. You gotta go to the roof. Oh, crap. In here. God, okay. Haven't done this in a while. Uh, only, only two, so... But I have to use these things. All right, one, two, three, four. No. 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 No, none of these. That. No. 
No. Oh, I have three of them, I just realized. Uh, no. Still got one of oh, Okay. Could use one. <laughs> The other one. Oh, actually. All right. Uh, fuck. Okay, right, let's try. Yeah, I could do that one instead. But then I'll need... Shit. Okay, that's the one right there, so then I'll need a three. Two of them, so God damn it. Uh tough. Okay, so we have five. This one works somewhere, I think. Yeah, this one works there, but then I don't have one that's... What does this one do? Okay, that's one right there, so then... Okay, hold on, we might have something. Maybe? No. It. I think we're fucked. Okay, there's one. All right, I think we are business. All right. I got one there, then next one will have to be this one. Okay, yeah, we got it. We're good, we're good. Or fuck, I fucked up. Oh, we're, we're good, I think. So two, no, nope. go here. All right, this one. do this then then I have to I think we got it nope that's not it god damn it this is this is hard oh no we got it we're good oh there we go 
Oh, just a digipack. I thought it was 35 digipacks. Never mind. All right. Yeah, suits ass compared to mine. Guess I'll take these. Oh, I'm uncovered, of course, and there's a treasure. How are you? Need you to take all this what shit. What you got for me? Uh. That resources need you to take. Store all. Take all this. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. That one. I think that's it. I still uncovered? Oh my god, I think I am. Fuck, I am. Alright, uh. I trust you are well. I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? Anything else? I think uh, I still have oh, fuck. All right, I think I'm better now. Wait. Oh, she can't carry anymore. Ah, fuck. All right, we're good though, for the time being. We have to go upstairs, I forgot. How do we get up there, though? I guess we gotta just jump up there. Which is fine, too, but still. So, here we go. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Engine spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Ride on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding, Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Go to uh, NASA now. NASA? Holy shit. Let's uh, get a move on.
on Earth, folks. We are going to Earth. Sand here. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Extreme solar radiation. This is what is this what's gonna happen to us in the next couple hundreds of years based on, you know. Messing up the planet currently. All right. Wow. Oh. All right. So I get a move on. I wonder if we run into any body uh any enemies I doubt there's like livable living organisms on this planet because of the radiation and the looks of things there's no like vegetation no water nothing big ass ship though just sand and rock Yeah, we can. All right. That is a massive structure, though. I wonder if this was the last sh ship to try to leave. I think that towers like this were once absolutely. Essential. I probably think so. Ensuring our survival, and now here they are, buried and forgotten. That's a launch tower. How the heck are we going to get inside? Probably through. Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this dust. Or we could just climb it. Hey! <laughs> Never know whether lives were lost because this ship never launched. I mean, we could climb it, but I mean, it's best to like go that way, explore it. This door here. Oh! What's this? Stuff. How do we get back up there? Fuck. I don't see a staircase. I mean, there's a staircase that goes down there, but... Sucks. Fuck. Alright, we gotta find another way around then. Unless we could just climb back where we originally did climb up. Over there. Which very much work like that now we climb up
Getting somewhere, I think. It's all the way over there, so. Some platforms over. Ah, uh, we'll see. Inside. So eerie, just as like. See no life whatsoever on this planet. Alright, we did it. Enter NASA. Power required. Fuck. We need power, so... This goes through there, then we need... Go in here. There's power right there. The emergency power cells. We good. Find information about NASA. procedures remember the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential yes we've come a long way as far as tolerance yes the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be but these people lives are still in our hands i know there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled but let's not have that be on us assume it's go time every time your first your professionalism back your professionalism is what makes space travel a little bit safer and we can just use every ounce once we get wait and we can use every ounce we can get yeah that guy's damage running system recovery delivery from mars dr judith tatian the recent delivery from mars is unsettling i was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life instead dr victor isa comes with two members of the military everything they have brought back is under wraps what could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Mm. Can't go to there. Oh. Oh. Right. Very proud of all the data come. 2150 scientists first predict predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmospheric phenomena. But nope. Phenomena would have caused would cause breathable air to spread outside the Earth's atmosphere, Earth's gravity, dooming all life that remained. An estimated 50 years until the end has given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the Grav Drive, humanity will live on. I suppose they had a right to be. I feel like this is something like this. I don't know exactly like this is bound to happen at some point in the future. Centuries from now, at least. So. Due to personal record. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium 3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? 
I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Alright. Find information about the, about the prototype grav drive. Assault rifle. Ooh. Interesting. All right. So there, probably going to need it for that over here. There we go. Is there anything in here we can get or need? Shit. Time for some combat, folks. Can we use what we can we use what we can use? Where you at? Hello. It's level 46. You didn't know I had this grenade launcher, huh? Punk. Got both of them. More down there. We are triumphant. We are good. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. Advanced. I don't know if we have enough digi picks. Um, I mean, I think we do. Just and we have two right there. We have two. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It's right here. Then there's another one. Let's try that. There we go. Power switch. Oh, we could have turned the turrets off like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, 
what it turned off, but probably something dangerous. Deeper into the abyss. I don't like that there's flame barrels here or canisters. Security procedures check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. These are direct orders from the, sec the secretary. Absolutely no phones or recording devices. All written materials, clipboards, notebooks are to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Station. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Hey. Project Log, Dr. Judith Petzian. I watched the Gravjet tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Okay. Go further down. Wait. Anything in here? Oh, oh, oh. Two digipicks. Ah, uh, that's not good. I mean, we could, uh, that's the wrong one. We could, nope, that's the wrong one too. My earbuds about to die too. All right, so we just need one then if I do that. All right, and then. No. do that but I need another one which I don't have oh I do have one okay e. okay, if I do that then I have I have to that stretches that far however I could do that nope Oh, wait, I do have two. Okay, hold on. That. Cool. Must be nearing the artifact if it is here. We should not give up now. Where's the cuttable wall? Oh, it's a safe. And I don't. Uh, well, we could. Uh, let's see. Got one digi pick left. Do that. Go. 
Do that, then one, two. I may have made a mistake if I did that. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, ammo, digipex three. Oh, this is great. That's perfect. Nice. Okay. We're, oh, for a space to float up and control. Oh, left control just float down. Okay. Oh, I see some dead. I see a dead body. Oh, this is dope. This is. I think we've done this before, but. This is still freaking cool. What was that? We gotta get in there. She's already in there. The heck, she's on it. All right, let's go back up. Probably further down here. Maybe not. They've been dead for quite some time. That's a maintenance key. You don't need those credits anymore. All right. Okay. Big elevator, big red door. Space helmet. Alright, we're at the bottom floor now. How did that woman get in there? Do there? It's a duck right there. Probably it. But that shit. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it's advanced. That was a, a gun on his uh, on his lap. Made this key credits. Access logs. I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the graph drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start. Buttering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem. Under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. 
time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time, I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Mm. Well, I don't blame her. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the Grav Drive projects. Seems I'm like ancient history it. now. Mm. Not an Only order, but still. These days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Mm -hmm. And that's too much to read, but you can pause it as usual to read through it if you'd like. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars, but I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first, but I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I, I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Okay. It, it is all connected. The artifacts, grav drives, our very existence here in the settled systems. How did we not see it before now? Good question. So we gotta grab this or press this. He's starting to fact. Oh, now gravity's on. Gotta take the artifact.
think we just gotta go back to where we were before and climb out that vent. Here, was it? Oh, this is one way. Artifact PSI. Shit. Get the fuck out. Where's this guy? We need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, hello. I don't know if we can fight these guys. Oh, oh these are regular Starborn. Get the fuck out of here, punk. Where's my shotty? There it is. It's one of them. Oh shit, my bad. I thought I had another shotty. Yeah, this one. Where's the other guy? Where's the other punk? Oh, there you go. That's not the nose here. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, so. Oh, hello. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Get out of here. Are you recovering? Where are you going? Alright. Fuck you. He has my gun, I want ammo. Punk ass. Eat it. Aw, oh, damn it. I want his ammo. Shit, who's shooting? Oh, more. What y'all doing? Come here. Let's do it. Come here. Yeah, buddy. Punk ass. Who's the other one? The other friend left you. I need power. And then I need a. Oh, it's right here. else better show up or you're gonna get killed I wouldn't do it how the fuck you get out of here Got a door right here he has a door As a novice. All right, whatever. That one. Uh, that was the wrong one. Fuck. I think that was the wrong one. All right, and that one, and then I think this is it. I didn't have to do that. Oh, hello. 
Come here. Come here, little shit. Eat it. Eat it. Fuck. I want his ammo. Nah, don't run away, punk. Eat this ammo. I mean, I could just buy it, but still. You sure this is what you want? Excuse me? Pardon me? Oh, you was sniping. I want your sniper. Come here. Yeah, you don't like that, punk. Where you at? Poke your stupid head out. Stupid. Alright, uh... Let's go. That's elevator, right? Yeah, I think that is right. Talk to the emissary. What up, fuckers? Watch y'all ship. Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Sacrificing Earth wasn't worth having grav drives. We lost our home. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War. Disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Yeah, the artifacts need to be in right hands. Me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the emissary. Than any other starborn. And you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. I don't trust this guy. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The Buried Temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. We won't be able to go to the Buried Temple 
right away. There are still other artifacts out there in the settled systems that have been gathered. You'll need to work with your colleagues in Constellation to find them. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The Hunter and I agreed that whomever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn, human mercenaries, and defenses, alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. He and I have made a number of agreements over the years, if you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. Hey. I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together. All the other artifacts need to be gathered before the final one will reveal itself. I'll be bringing mine. The hunter will be bringing his. And you will need to bring the rest. All of the ones Constellation can find. Alright, well, we level up to level 31 now. So, I guess we'll, uh, call it... A session. I mean, right now we have to prepare for the final battle, so yeah. So until next time, folks, take care. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, again, until next time, take care. Bye.